What is up, everyone? Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Power Hour. So I'm currently still have my lunchtime number two on. And so I'm not putting on a power hour yet because I'm not overlapping strikes. But if I would, if I didn't have a position on right now, I would do the 4840s. And the 4835s probably. Um, the 4845s just don't give me enough premium on the call side. So I'm hoping we get a little bit of price movement one way or the other here so I can get on a power hour trade. I considered the 4845s with the 4840s, which would give me a, like I, I talked earlier, a little skew to the upside, but. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to I don't know if it's going to continue higher. It's pushed up all day. Again, kind of a second day in a row of just not ideal price movement for um delta neutral like this. So again, if you're getting a scratch day or a little bit of a green day, it's it's an awesome thing. <clears throat> So I've gotten out of 20% of my lunchtime number two. And so to shed a couple more contracts, it needs to come down. I got an order at 305. It's uh, price is at 390 right now. So it needs to come down or theta needs to decay quicker. Yeah, if, if you got a scratch day on a day like today, man, that's great. Okay, so it looks like price is coming down a little bit here. Really don't want to. Okay. So I'm going to look at the 3530s. See what I get for that. 30 points wide. Uh, no, I'm going to hold off for a second. Forty-eight forties and the forty-eight thirties would be good if you didn't have a position or the forty-eight thirty-fives, forty-eight thirties, either one really. So I'm kind of looking at off oh, there. I'm kind of looking at the uh, 4835s, 4830s. I can get my analyze tab to work and I can take a peek at this. That's kind of hoping we just get some chop here. Think her swim is running really slow. Jesus. Come on.
I hate to lose out on theta decay because of slow broker. What a crazy update, though. All right, so I just got filled on my 4835s, 4830s. Power hour number one. Pretty good premium there. I, don't know, I might have messed up my did I mess up my longs? Sometimes when I start my zoom, man, everything just runs slow. Yeah, I need to get a Mac. So I got filled at uh, seven, what was it 25? And so my OCO would be 580 would be my target and a plus four. Remember, I'm not going, my trailing stop is not bigger than a, than four. Yeah, I probably just need, I probably do need to upgrade. I've been using this laptop since 2019. So definitely do. So fingers crossed here, we don't get a rip up. Well, I got two boys. One will turn 16 in May. One turns 15 in March. So there's some costs that are coming with them getting older. And that's for sure. Uh, so uh, gaming laptops, they must be the must be the thing. The new thing now, instead of the gaming desktop. Yeah. 
Yeah, kids are expensive. All right, S and P, you've been chopping and chopping, so just stop going up and up. Get your little butt back down here. Man, how about Roku? As in a mighty ninety in Roku, I told Dayox in the lives or in the live stream this morning. I was like, I bet Roku when it was way down here. I was like, I bet it g goes through highs of day before the day's over. Sure enough. I don't even know what's really pushing the market today. So I've got a lunchtime two and a power hour one. So may not, I'm not going to put on a power hour two unless one of these, uh, get, unless I unload one of these. Getting close to hitting my uh, 40% on lunchtime. Meta pushing through highs. I actually had some calls in Meta too. Got rid of those. You just stay right there, S&P. Man, meta through highs of day. Guess I could have held those calls a little bit longer too. I'd like to see right now, I would like to see... Uh, I'd like to see the S and P stop at about. I'd like to see it come down, and let's just let's just hang it about forty eight thirty five, right in there. Forty eight thirty three. How about that? It doesn't look like it's going to, folks. Pretty tough day. I mean, I'd like to get it. Just see you get pushed right back down to this pivot. There goes the NASDAQ. Highs of day. I mean, at this point, let's just fill those calls up. Unreal. Yes, I should have left my calls on. I kind of learned something here, you know, leaving those calls on for my one of my from one of my AM trades. Probably would have been beneficial today.
Yeah, you know, I thought we were going to get a pullback here. Those first first few weeks of the, or at least first couple weeks of January, but man, it didn't take long to make up everything that came, you know, from market coming down at the beginning of the year. I mean, it came down first 10 days and, man, it's just ripped right up past it. With the Dow, man, it's just chopping. Let's get some action like the Dow right now. Twenty-five cents. Okay, so it does take a pretty big move to make them valuable, but twenty-five cents—it's not bad for the theta decay throughout the day. If it can just come down to this pivot and just hang there. I like how the Dow is just hanging right on this pivot. Yeah, that's true, Wooga. It's been a slow grind up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's when they that's when they really start helping you out. Man. You know, uh, when you have a couple of those positions on, you know, you got a couple mornings. If you got a couple morning AMs and you got, and you get the move like that. So, you know, I may have, if I'm, do, if I'm doing six or eight contracts, you know, I may have 12 to 16 calls on if it was to move like that of 60 points. That's when it really helps. And vice versa when it goes down. So I still got I got two positions on and they're two points out of the money on both sides. So I'm not adding anything and I'm adding a number two. Every time you think maybe it's gonna pause and come down a little bit, it Starts to creep back up. Think about it. If it does come down, man, it'll hit those profit targets fast.
I mean, I'm still sitting pretty good on my lunchtime too. It's still with in the short strikes. So I got a lot of premium left in those babies. Nice. That's your power hour number one there, Michael. It's a good feeling to get 20%, man. It really is. I'm just not going to say anything at all right now. Just not going to say anything. Go, they go, go, they go. I wonder when Steve gets back. Miss that crusty old cut. If I didn't have a lunchtime still on, I probably would have added a power hour number two by now. Hey, man, we need some theta to come our way. Lunchtime number two, man. I, I figure the theta be helping me more than what it is. Chris, don't jinx it, man.
Need some theta decay, please. Need some theta decay. Need some theta decay. What's that, Elliot? You guys put on some calendars today? Okay, nice. Hey, there's a fill. 40% lunchtime number two. So 290. And so that was 510. So I do my do my calculation. This is a lunchtime one, remember? So 205 is profit target. I'm going to go ahead and take two of my three off in, on the next profit target, just so I won't be in this if it does some funky stuff at the end of the day. So 2.05. and My trailing stop is 75% of 290. So that's 220. Just need a little bit more down to hit my 20% on power hour. So still no, still no opening for me anyway, for me, for power hour number two. Uh, I mean, it depends what my other positions. If if I had another position that was testing one side, then I would. Um, but if I still had a position that was somewhat centered, then I wouldn't. Yeah, I know. I thought I should have, too. I should have gotten it, too. Let me see where I'm at. Yeah, it's right at it right now. Yeah, it's at 580, and I, I have the – and again, this is doing this to me. I had 580 as my 20%, and it's at 550 with no fill. I think sometimes it, it's been doing this. You know, when it comes down quicker, it's like it just misses your – I don't know. I would suspect it to hit at any point now. There we go. So looks like I got both fills. Yep. So 
Uh, so lunchtime number two hit 60%, and power hour number one hit 20%. Okay, so I need to do my OCO. So 7.25 times the 60, the 40 percent target would be 435. So it, that's and this is that's above that's above four. So I'm still going to use a four, a plus four trailing stop. See, how I do that even though it's my 40 percent target because I got a good fill on my um, on my premium. So I'll close two more at 435. And I will keep my trailing stop at four. Okay, and then so my last... So my lunchtime, my lunchtime number two has one of one of ten contracts left. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at mm, I'll just put that at a dollar. Again, I'm, this doesn't really matter now because it's only one left. Price is currently at 225. So I'll see if I can squeeze a little more out of this with fade and decay. I'll just put it at a dollar. I probably could let it expire. It's still sitting between the short strikes pretty good. In fact, I'm going to put it at like 0.5. So 50 cent price with a trailing stop of, I'll just say 1.9. <laughs> Again, when it gets to this point, like, does it really matter? So still no power hour number two for me, just based on my strikes. Now, if I wanted to, though, I could I could probably close out the forty eight forty calls that I have for my lunch hour number two, but still they're only worth a buck forty, so I still wouldn't get a in a power hour two. So I'm just gonna roll with what I've got. I got a green day going, so thanks to Power Hour. So I just don't think I'm going to jeopardize my green day with another. So I would have been <clears throat> five trades today for me, which is, you know, five or six typically. What was that that just got filled? That's weird. I got, oh, uh, I got filled at a buck eighty on my last contract of of number two. So I guess maybe if you're cent if I'm centered like that, I guess I just need to make my trailing stop be a little bit more. Which is fine. Actually, what happens is I end up booking about 90% profit, even though it got stopped. Because I had a 290 fill for 60%. And then I just got filled for a buck 80, even though I probably could have got taken that one to the bell. Again, does it really matter? I 
Okay, so. And I had a minus 195, and then I had a fill at 180. It's a nice $2,000 profit on that one. So, man, I could probably take a, man, I could probably take a number, hour, hour two here, with a 48, 40s, and 35s. Ah, yeah, premium is only 440. So, yeah, I'm not going to get it. Five. It's always five. So, would have to take the straddle 4840. Which would give me 675. Forty-eight, forty straddle, thirty points wide. Man, my analysis tab has not been working. I kind of like the straddle, though. I don't think it wants to fill me though. I have an order in at six seventy five. Weird man. No bidders. Just gonna cancel it. I did like it. Not get a fill. It's not as hard to get fills this time of day, obviously.
All right. Filled at 695 on the 4840 straddle. I went 20 points wide. Uh, 4840 for power hour number two. Uh, let me get my OCO in since things move so quick and then I'll post it, but it's 4840 and it's 20 points wide. Five fifty five would be profit target number one. Trailing stop again would be four again. All right, so let me post this in there. So, no crazy moves here, S&P. Just kind of sit where you're at. My pinhead for that straddle would be 48, obviously Definitely a good, can't complain about this power hour price movement when you're looking at, you know, what I do here. It's kind of what I was hoping it would do after this slow grind up. So 4840 is where I need it. Straddle. And about 4835. So if it can finish somewhere between 4835 and 4840. Yeah, uh, Wuga, it, it sure is. Sure makes you feel better when you hit at least one profit target. I, I mean, if you could hit that 20%. I think if it settles about 48, 36, 37, I'm going to be pretty good with both my power hours. That straddle. And if it can stay up there. It's 
straddles one. I really want to hit 555. Needs to come up a little bit. Don't go back down, you sucker. After what you've been doing all day. Setting 435 for my 40% on power hour one. 435. Man, come on, come on. Don't do this to me now. You little sucker. S&P 500. If it goes down, it helps one. If it goes up, it helps the other. <laughs> so let's just meet in the middle. Wonder if Steve's trading. You know Steve's trading power hour, man. You just know he is. Guy can't resist. Hold on there, S&P. Where are we at here? 240? All right, I need to get filled on this straddle to make my, make my life feel better. It's at 640. I got filled at 695. And my 20% is at 555. Don't you come down any little more anymore, you little rat. Although it will help my power hour number one if it comes down. We got big plans this weekend. Big NFL games. Go Chiefs. Chiefs over the Bills. Time for Patrick Mahomes to end Josh Allen's season again. Anybody still got football teams in, in the uh, playoffs? Hopefully see some more Taylor Swift this weekend. I'm sure you guys all love that. Seattle, okay. I mean, I always tell people... You know, Kansas City with Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, Kansas City is the new Hollywood. 49ers, all right, yeah. I, Steve and I went to the Super Bowl in 2020 when the Chiefs beat the 49ers for their first Super Bowl in 50 years. That was an incredible experience. Nice. So that's power hour number one. Reinhardt, power hour. Is that power hour number one hit 40? Or is that a lunchtime one? I got a lot of theta left in this straddle. It's gonna, it don't got much time left. 
60? Nice. I'm still waiting for 40% on my power hour number one. I think I think faded decay is quicker on Michael's computer than mine. It's exactly though what you kind of want to see in a power hour. I need a power hour hit on 40% on my number one. I mean, Theta, come on. This is where it's getting to that 245. I don't want it to come down anymore, really, for my straddle. I mean, my straddle is a priority because I haven't hit 20% on it. So need a bit of a bounce. Need a bounce. Need a bounce. Need a bounce. Build at 385 to hit 40% power hour two. So that was what? Three eighty five on power hour number two or number I'm sorry. Yeah, power power hour number one, I'm sorry. Okay, so 725, 60% would be 290. So for my OCO, I'll close two more contracts. So my trailing stop is 290. All right, prices. Where's my straddle at, man? Come on. Still haven't hit my 20% on my straddle.
Man, it looks like it wanted to push up there to 4840. Yeah, that's kind of, I've kind of noticed that's the way it is here when you get to these last 10, 15 minutes. That's why I wish I would have hit my profit target on my straddle because if you're at a 20%, at least. At least you've booked some profits. Got 12 minutes left. And this, my, my, my power hour number two has been on for, I guess it's been 20 minutes. Usually with theta decay and a straddle for t on 20 minutes, you're hitting something, a stop or a profit target. You got filled on 20% Wuga? There we go. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I should be hitting now. I'm 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 below my my straddle should be hitting any, any second. <clears throat> I'm below my 555. There we go. Fill at 505. Nice fill. Okay, so that was 695. So 415 would be my next one. I don't know if I even have time for it. But I got to get it in because I get to stop in. So four fifteen is next target and four dollar stop. <laughs> J trade and Roku still going up. So I feel a lot better. You know, straddles make me nervous, man. They kind of do when you're doing this. I did like where the straddle fell in relation to my power hour number one and where that price was. But this is good power hour price movement. Uh, 4840 straddles when I'm I'm in. So it's a pinhead at 
check the live stream next week. Next week, live stream. So next week on Monday, I'll be doing the live stream in the morning. And then I will be co-hosting with Steve in the afternoon, power hour, all next week. Probably even the mornings, too, when he does zero DTE. That way you guys can ask him questions if it's about what he does. Ask me questions if it's about what I do. I could just have price stop about right here, 48.36, just freeze. Oh, no. What are you doing pushing up? Get your little butt back down here. Actually, 4840 is a pinhead. Well, my straddle is well below my price target and not filling. There's something filled. The straddle filled at 320 to close power hour two. Hit 40%. So thank you, Straddle. Much obliged. So I will just set an order to close the rest of my straddle here. I don't know if it will or not. There's only three minutes left. Only two contracts left. So I've got an order on my straddle just to close everything out at a dollar fifty. Nice job, Michael Todd. What's that PL for the day, Michael?
Man, I think it wants to get me a pinhead. Maybe not. Guess it don't. Awesome. Nice, Michael Todd. What about your TLC trades, Michael? There he is. There he is. I knew it. I knew I knew he was trading. I called it. <laughs> I knew it, man. I knew it. That guy. You guys ever see that Looney Tunes? Uh, when uh, what is it? Uh, Sylvester Sam. Sylve Sylvester. Uh, Yosemite Sam. Here's the word bet. I mean, that's like Steve. Bet. 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 Except trade. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Gotta love it. <laughs> Michael's got to count his chips. Looks like I'm taking these to the bell, maybe. Yeah, there's the bell. Ah. Buck sixty five on the straddle. Nice. All right. See you later, La Sosa. Nice job, Elliot. Kendam Booyah. Nice. All right, let's see what I got here. Let's check mine here. So looks like it's settled at a buck seventy. Okay, so I had six ninety-five. Oh yeah, white tiger. Elliot 23k. Yeah. Go buy a car. Five oh five. Got rid of there. And then I got a 320 and then how oh, else three Oops. and then a buck 70 for the rest Thank you for that straddle. Yeah, so Power Hour did save us. Today was a today was a tough day. Up until Power Hour. That's why you just gotta keep the faith and keep with the progress. Or the I'm not not, not progress, but process. Okay, so 438. So 5,966. Ah, uh, okay. That's all right, Michael. You're green. Okay, so my lunchtime number two was a cool 2,000. That's good. And then I had a 2,541. And a thirty-one twenty-five. Woo! Excuse me. So let's take a look at the day, and then I'll show you the week. If you don't want to stay on with me, I'll post it. But so, because remember, I track my trades based on AM. Lunchtime and power hour.
Five and one. Hey, man, if you could go five and one on a day like today, that's good. Proud of that. All right, so let's check out for the week here, guys, which is four days of trading. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. Seven winners, two losers for the AM Iron Condors. Lunchtime, one, two, three, four, four and two, five and three for lunchtime. Thanks to the yesterday. I mean, yesterday killed me with that speaker. And then power hour, one, two, three, four, six and O oh in power hour. Okay, folks, here we go. Here is the results for the week. Okay, so TLC trades for week of January 15th. 23 total trades, 18 winners, and five losers. Profit loss equals a plus 15,505. So there you go. If you want to take a look at, uh, you know, for me, like, and you know, I'm, I'm any patterns in terms of morning, lunchtime, and power hour. So. So far for the month in uh, with two weeks left, or I guess a week and a half. 42 and 12. Yeah, my power hour, my power hour last week, Jan week of January 8th was eight and one, 13K. But honestly, last week I was 20 and four. So really, Every, all three time periods were fine, were good. What I'm happy about though is like the last two days haven't been easy with price movement. So, all right, guys, I'll see you guys on Monday. Catch you later. Have a good weekend. Go Chiefs. Peace.